Yeah, we're talking United manager Kevin Nicholson. Kevin, um, eight unbeaten now. Seems each time I see you, that, that number keeps going up. Uh, surely that's becoming a good habit for you now. It's, they're getting into the habit of coming off, having not lost a game. Um, we're not eight unbeaten. We're just getting ready for Dover. It's as simple as that. We're, we've not done anything yet. Um, we've got a lot of work to do. The lads have put a lot of work in and they've got themselves in a position where they've earned the right to go and, and achieve something. But to do that, they've got to make sure that they're ready for Dover. So I'm not really, without wanting to sound too uh, doom and gloom, I don't want to talk about runs. I want to talk about Dover and what we've got to do to go and beat them, at least to the lads, because they need to make sure that they're ready for it and ready for what's coming. You don't want to talk about runs, but how about league position? Being outside the bottom four for the first time in uh, six months or so, is, is that psychologically... St- even though you've not achieved anything, I realise, but is it nice to be out of that bottom four? Is it ever t- too early to be out of it? No, it's pretty relevant, really, in the sense that if the league ended now, then it'd be a different conversation, but the league doesn't end until the end of April, and um, and we've not done anything. You know, we, We've given ourselves a chance to do something, and the only way we can follow that up is by doing something positive against Dover. It's a bit of a dogfight down there. Are you sort of looking to try and... Are you looking up in the sense of trying to drag a few more of those teams into it potentially? I'm looking at sort of Geisley, Southport, Chester. Is it in your interest to try and get them involved? If yeah, possible? yeah. I, I think on that front, yeah. I, I want to finish as high up that table as we can. Um, and I look at those teams and I think they're achievable to, to get at and, and to try and get above. And if we, if we can do that and we can get a few more points than those around us and we can get above those teams that you've mentioned, then we will have achieved what we set out for. You'd had a 3 0 nils, and then you won one nil at the weekend. After the game, you were very honest. You said it probably should have been another ugly nil nil, but you'd you got the win. The manner of a goal, maybe a bit fortunate. Uh, therefore, obviously, four clean sheets, that's still going absolutely perfectly. But in attack, is there still a bit of concern that if maybe it would have been a fourth nil nil, it could easily have been, that you could maybe create a bit more going forward? No, not really. I think, um, you know, I've given the lads the benefit of a doubt. I think they, they've put a, a lot of effort in over these last few weeks and I think fatigue was probably a factor um, but they've had a few days off now so I expect them to be fresh and firing and ready to go at Dover You've It's not quite six months it's all, very almost six months in the job now for you How have you found the job overall? Is it being what you expected? You said it was a dream job for you Has it panned out that way so far? Obviously with all that's going on it, you probably don't get much time to think about that But No, I've, I've not had to take had time to sit down and assess too much but yeah, it's still the dream job it's everything that it's the perfect first job, I think, for any manager because there's been a lot of um, issues, there's been a lot of tests, there's been a lot of challenges and you've got to go meet them head on and get the better of them. And I think that's the job of any manager is to answer those questions and make sure that you come out on top of it. So it was probably the, the perfect first job as long as I can make sure that uh, uh, we, we follow it through and, and finish where we need to finish. A lot of people going into management might have been quite naive about what it entails. So I've got the feeling that you sort of maybe I'm wrong, but had a fair idea of what it might be all about. Have you had, have you had many surprises along the way? No, I mean, some of, some of the, the off-field issues and, and players that you have to manage, not just on the pitch, have been interesting. But, um, no, I mean, I've been in football long enough to virtually know most of what goes on. There's obviously a lot more to it when you're managing. But, you know, as a, as a player, I was always hindered in going higher up because physically I wasn't gifted enough to go and play in the Championship or the Premier League. Well, as a manager, it's it's all on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what shape or size you are. It doesn't matter how quick you are or not. It just matters, can you get results? Can you think your way through problems? Can you manage a, a group of young lads um, that are, are 20 different personalities and have good times and bad times and ups and downs? Now, I love that and, and I've enjoyed it and I've enjoyed that challenge, but all I need to really worry about at this point is Dover. You said Dover was one of these games coming up that no one expects you to get anything out of other than perhaps yourselves. Does that mean you're going to go into it with a bit more freedom and knowing that anything you get might be a bit of a bonus? No, no, that means that we're going to go there to win the game and we're going to go there to show everybody, Dover, ourselves and everybody that's watching that we are a force and that when we do what we do well, we can give everybody a game. So there's no free games, there's no taking it easy because nobody else expects it. We've got nine games, we've got a certain amount of points that we need to hit to make sure that we're safe and every one of those games is winnable. Um, On the flip side, if you go into any of those games not at it, not ready and not right, then they're all losable. So 
we have to make sure we go there and that's what I spoke to the lads about this morning we go there to win we don't go there to sit back and hope for the best we don't go there to try and nick a draw we go there to meet them head on to, to out fight them to want it more than them and then to go and get three points uh, Toby Ajala a player who was, who was here then went to Dover and back at playing more again is he a valuable resource in the build up to this game? Yeah, he's been putting his, uh, his his bit over to us. He's been helping us with the the research of it. Obviously, he knows some of these players quite um, uh, quite a bit more than what we do. Um, but it's you know we do our research, we do our homework. We know we know Dover are a very specific team. There's a lot of teams at this level that you're you know a bog standard four four two and a bog standard in what they do. Dover are a lot a bit different to that really. They they have their own shape, they have their own style, they're very good at it. Um, you know, you need to stand up physically to a very strong, well-organised side. Uh, you have to look after four or five players that can turn a game on their own. And if you can do that and impose yourself on them, then they're also beatable. And Dover have um, Tyron Marsh. Uh, obviously, he left the circumstances, obviously, and put the transfer request. I know you were frustrated at the time. I'm sure you're seeing that as all water under the bridge now. But to, to face up against him, he's obviously a player you know all about too. Yeah, I mean he's not been playing too much while he's been there, but he's a danger. He's he's sharp. He's he's pretty quick, and he's a goal scorer. So, but then they've got a few of them. You know, their their front three are a handful. I think at this level, and probably would be able to do it at a level or two above. Um, you know, they're a team. Although they are not steeped in history, they're a team with great resources right now uh, financially. So the manager's done a great job in getting together a group of lads that he's not only moulded into how he wants to play but are also very, very good technically and, and very, very good physically. So um, I think they're a good example of what can be done doing the basics right. And like I say, we've got to match that, do it better than them and then outplay them. Is Stefan Payne one of the names you're wary of? Because he got a couple of goals at Playmore, didn't he? And he seems to, at this level, he seems to get a lot of goals. Yeah, well, he's, a, he's an athlete. He never stops. He's, a, he's a, an old-fashioned kind of striker. Um, but then they've got Miller, Davidix, um Modest. I mean, they've got lads all over that can do that kind of job. They've got technical lads, and they're going to be a threat from set plays because they're quite a big side. So, we're prepared for them. We're ready for them. And I say all that, but we're also a good side. We're also well organised. We're also um, physically strong and physically fit and mentally in a good place. So, I expect us to go there and stand up to everything that's thrown at us. And enough about Dover. Looking at your team, any any injury worries going into the game? Um, nothing major now, a couple of little knocks, um, but nothing I'm too worried about. Um, and obviously we've now got, uh, officially I, I'm available to pick Luke Young, which is a big uh, lift I think for everybody around the place. Um, I've got to be careful, I've got to make sure I bed him in right. Um, but we're almost at full strength now. And Dan Navicum, you said you hadn't received an update this time last week. Are you still leaving them to it very much? Yeah, well, he's, it, it sounds brutal. And obviously, you know, I, I've, I care about Dan as I care about all of my players. But with all due respect, he can't help us right now. And also, he's a Wigan player, technically. So they're making sure that he's right before they let us know that he's available. And then when he is, we'll see where we're at and we'll see what we're going to do.